Chinese story is about this woman named Chang and her husband, Hoi. And my apologies right away for anybody who actually knows Chinese or knows this story because I have no idea how to actually pronounce these names, but this is what it looks like to me. And Chang and Hoi are immortals. They're living up in heaven. Now, Chang loves it up there because she has a big family. All of her sisters are up there. The food's good, and they have a nice view. <laughs> her husband is a very famous archer. Now, one day, for reasons that cannot be explained, the Jade Emperor, which is another name for Indra, which is another name for the god of heaven, the heavenly god, the Jade Emperor's sons, all ten of them, decide to become sons. And they throw themselves into the sky, and there are ten suns blazing, blazing, blazing down on the earth, and the earth is burning up. And the Jade Emperor, you know, goes to the suns and says, hey, no, 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 do something else, you know, we don't, we don't need ten, and they turn a deaf ear. So the Emperor goes to Hoi, who's a hero and an archer and, you know, somebody that you can call on when you've got a big problem. He goes to Hoi and he says, can you help me? We have to do something about the ten sons before the earth is burned to a crisp. And so Hoi says, okay, yeah, I can help you with that. And he whips out an arrow and, and he kills one and then he kills two and then he kills three and he kills nine of the ten and he leaves the one because he figures that one is sufficient for the earth. And it seems like it has been so far. But the other nine are dead. And the Jade Emperor is not too happy about this. He goes to Hoi and he says, look, I said that I needed you to do something about the ten sons, but I didn't intend for you to kill nine of them. And he's very angry. And he says, you and your wife out, gone, sorry. You wanted to save the earth, you saved the earth, great, that's where you're going. And he throws them down on, on the earth. So they get down to Earth, and um, they kind of blend in with the human beings down there. And boy, the husband is happy to be there. He's a little bit of a hero, having saved the Earth and all, and the people who were on there and down there. And uh, the hunting's good. But his wife is homesick. Chang doesn't really like it on Earth. It's cold. All of her family is up in heaven. And there's the small matter of losing your divine powers when you're not in heaven. And so over time, her husband's losing his virility, and she's losing her beauty. So although they had been a happy couple up in heaven, their domestic bliss is now been short-circuited, and Chang starts nagging her husband and complaining and blaming him. So Hoy decides he's going to have to do something about this because he can't put up with her anymore. And he is also upset. You know, I mean, she's she is his wife. He wants to make good vibes for her and everything. So he goes out and makes a journey. And he's looking for the old woman of the West, Wang Mu. Now, the reason he's looking for Wang Mu is that every 3,000 years, the immortals have to eat this elixir made out of peaches. <laughs> I'm going to eat a lot more peaches this time. <laughs> so, every 3,000 years, Wang Mu makes an elixir of peaches. And all of the immortals eat it. And they eat it in order to keep up their powers. Because nobody wants to live forever as a shriveled up little as a shriveled up little thing, right? So Wang Mu has mixed up her batch and everybody's been coming and she's been serving it and serving it and serving it out. And when Hawaii comes and finds her, it's all gone. 
he says, isn't there anything that you can do? I mean, I have come all this way, and I didn't really know where to find you. You know, I mean, I used to just drop down from above, but, you know, I had to go the long way this time. And uh, I've, I've got to do something for Chen. You know, she's pining away. She's, I, she needs to get back to heaven. I, I, we've, we've got to get back to heaven. And Wang Lu says, well, um, I have one peach left. I actually wasn't going to use it because it's kind of shriveled up and a little moldy, but you know, it kind of, maybe I'll cut some of the bad pieces off, you know, just take a seat and I'll see what I can do with this. <laughs>